Dear citizen, has this ever happened to you? Fa la 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 la, I'm so lean cause I always eat clean. I just blew my whole diet. Might as well just finish them off. All right, that's enough of the Humphrey Bogart kind of shtick and stuff, but it's, I know, a dramatic reenactment of things that we take way too dramatically when we, quote, blow our diet whenever we have just the slightest little bit of discrepancy in our habits, and then we're just totally off the rails and we find ourselves out of control. Once again, this is a symptom of the method-based mindset when it comes to our fitness habits, which basically works like this, is habit X leads to result Y. So when it comes to diet, what ends up happening is we're often told if you eat this type of food, then you're going to get this type of result. You're gonna gain weight, you're gonna be in bad health, whatever ills you have uh, uh, to avoid, it's like, well, as long as you don't eat these kinds of foods, then you're in control and then that won't happen. So what ends up happening emotionally is we actually lose complete touch with reality because having even a little tiny bit of that is the same thing as having a whole lot of it. But of course, this isn't at all how food and diet and nutrition actually works because all of those results that we're trying to avoid, like the weight gain or poor health and stuff, depend on thousands of variables and having a chocolate chip cookie or a slice of pizza or whatever you're trying to avoid can't possibly solely be responsible for that one thing because that would be instigating that that's the one thing that is 100% responsible for that outcome and nothing else ever matters at all. Yes, the food you eat is very important, and yes, you don't want to overindulge, but the amount you eat and the ways that your body can use it isn't so much a cause of those outcomes, but an influence to them. And that's the key word, is influence. One chocolate chip cookie is a small, relatively trivial influence, but eating a whole bag of them is a much bigger influence. Thinking that you can be in control of your weight or your health and stuff just by not eating certain foods actually ironically takes control away from you because no you can't purposely avoid those outcomes just by not eating certain foods so that whole idea of i can control my weight by not eating junk food or whatever is actually an illusion as human beings we are emotionally based creatures not so much logically so if we feel differently about a little and a lot we break out of the cycle of feeling the same between eating a little bit and a lot and going off the rails. And I know this is a process, it's not gonna be a quick fix, and this video isn't gonna give you the ultimate solution just by watching it, but if it at least kinda gets you thinking a little bit differently about the quantity and the influence it has versus just this is bad, always avoid it kind of mentality, then it's at least a step in the right direction. We'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Check out these videos for more. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit, live free.